This week, we're in the Bull City. Since we relocated to the East Coast, we've been able to explore a lot more of North Carolina. In the past year, we visited Raleigh, Charlotte, Concord, Asheville, and the Outer Banks. So now we're back here in the fine state of North Carolina, this time to explore Durham. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you all. I don't think either of us really knew a whole lot about Durham before this trip. I could tell you it was in North Carolina. Tony could probably tell you that Duke is here. And I think that's about it. But we're here now and so excited to show you the city. This might be a little bit cheesy, but we are here over Thanksgiving. So in the true holiday spirit, we just want to thank you. Thank you for tuning in each week when we post a new video. Thanks for cheering us on over the last year. And if you're just now discovering us, welcome. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a detour. So Tony and I have been prioritizing travel for about a year now, and the main reason we go on a lot of these trips, honestly, is to film YouTube videos and shoot content. So in an effort to make sure that we're still doing things for us on each of these trips, we are giving ourselves a challenge to do one thing, one of us has to do one thing on each trip to push us out of our comfort zone. And lucky for Sarah, she gets to go first. See, here at the museum, they have a huge butterfly garden and Sarah doesn't really like butterflies. So today she's gonna push her comfort zone a little bit. You ready? No. <laughs> They're not like scattered everywhere. It's not a swarm of butterflies. So not as bad? I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, good, because there's one on your shoulder. No, there's not. <laughs> also located in the Magic Wings Butterfly House is the Bayer Insectarium, which features a grotesque collection of insects from all over the world. And the museum isn't all butterflies and insects either. There's 84 acres of exhibits to explore and animals to see, like wolves, bears, lemurs, and farm animals. campus dates back to the 1890s and it remains an integral part of the community today. While no longer used as an industrial site, this location is still filled with shops and restaurants making it a really popular Durham location. Just inside the American Tobacco Campus is the headquarters of Burt's Bees, and along with it, the original cabin of founder Burt Chavez. Chavez, whose face still adorns the company logo, lived out his final years in the cabin before it was relocated to Durham. Mm -hmm. 
Durham, Raleigh, and Chapel Hill are part of what's called the Research Triangle because of their proximity to three major universities. And also right here in Durham is North Carolina Central University. Right here on the Duke campus is the Sarah P. Duke Garden. This is a 55-acre public garden with five miles of trails winding through it. It is free to enter, but you do have to pay for parking on campus. There's a lot of history in Durham, and being right in the research triangle, it's ever evolving and becoming an alluring destination for visitors. And I gotta say, the sunrises in Durham they're really quite amazing. Durham is actually a fun little town, and being here over Thanksgiving weekend, we kind of had the city to ourselves. What I really liked about this town is that everything is walkable distance. Like some of the best attractions are only a few miles apart, so you can really get a lot of new experience. We are doing a food tour next week, so stay tuned for that as well, and you can see all the amazing food stops in Durham. This might be a little bit cheesy. This might be a little cheesy. Now this may be a little bit cheesy. This might be a little cheesy.